On Friday, it was revealed that U.S. Capitol Police arrested a male Democratic operative for allegedly assaulting a female Trump administration official after a House budget hearing on Thursday The alleged assault took place at the conclusion of Interior Secretary Ryan Zinke's testimony on the department's 2019 budget proposal before the House Committee on Natural Resources, the DCNF reported The suspect supposedly identified himself as a reporter with the David Brock-founded American Bridge, which is a progressive research and communications organization committed to holding Republicans accountable for their words and actions The suspect, whose name has not been released, allegedly pushed a female Interior Department communications official to the floor, chasing after Zinke, the DCNF notes According to Politico, Laura Rigas, Interior's communications director, said she was greatly alarmed and extremely irate that a female senior member of my DOI communications team was physically assaulted today by a Democrat staffer from the PAC American Bridge Committee spokeswoman Katie Schoedler told the DCNF that the committee was appalled to hear of the events following yesterday's hearing, where a member of Secretary Zinke's staff was victim to an assault These actions are reprehensible and have no place in this body. We thank the U. S. Capitol Police for their quick response and professionalism, Schoedler continued. The USCP is now handling the matter. American Bridge is a political action committee dedicated to holding Republicans accountable for their words and actions, according to their website. American Bridge is known for having operatives follow Republican candidates on the campaign trail Democratic operative David Brock founded American Bridge in 2010 and raised tens of millions of dollars to support liberal candidates The group has been described as an opposition research hub of the Democratic fundraising apparatus Liberal billionaire George Soros donated $2 million to American Bridge in 2016, and the Tom Steyer founded Next Gen Climate Action regularly donates money to the group, according to the Center for Responsive Politics The group told Politico they were not aware of the incident, but would be